Greetings, greetings, Mark Brown. You're going to be looking at how we can use WordPad right here on this computer here. So we want to locate the word pattern and we're going to say exactly how we can use it. If we can type in it, we can use pitch and all of that. So we want to come all the way here. If we want to click right here, we're going to type word, word. If you notice it right here, it's a word pattern, you're going to click on it. Definitely, this is how the word pattern actually looks like. You notice it looks exactly like Microsoft Word. Right, clean and everything right here. So definitely, if you don't want Microsoft Word, example, your computer can definitely use the word part to do whatever you wanted to do, right? If you notice, when you click on file right here, you notice you have new right here. You have open, you have save cells right here. You notice when I go to save, you notice you have rich text documents. So these are all here. You make sure you can access save document in, right? You can also print a quick print preview right here. If you notice, quick print, right? And print here so again. You can also have a setup right here. You can also email the document right here. You can also exist right here. Very important. When you click on home, you can home. You know, so this is service the home. You have paste right here. You can copy and paste this stuff right here. You know, so you can cut. Caliber body, you can also change the font size. And all of that, you can add super scripts. And uh, they can also center the thing. You can also add photo to it. You can draw. Time and all of that. If you notice, when you click on it, right, it you can zoom in, you can zoom out right here. This is a the ruler. And if I click the ruler right here, notice no ruler again. Click it right here and all of that. Words popping right here. Right. And measurement is viewing it right here. You can actually get it to inches, centimeter, and all of that. You can get right here. Let's go back to the one. But can we really type inside here? Right, let's go to type. I'm going to say my name. Is Mark okay? All right, now we have this particle. Now, if you put the cursor right here, so I will press enter. Notice you can down the word, but very important. Can we really change the phone size? First thing you want to block it. Yes, you can actually block it. Seems like we can actually block it in Microsoft. But notice if you come right here, so to caliber body, you can actually change the size. You notice each one you put the pan. It actually change if I come right it's and I change it. You notice it changed right here in the sheet. But if you notice right here, I can actually come right here and pull it. I can also alter it just the same right here. I can underline it just the same. But you notice if you want to see more, you can come all the way down here. Notice the zoom window. All right, this is the minus window. You notice it goes small again. But if you come and the plus, you notice it's carried right in just like that. It came with the sheet just like that. This is how the zoom in the actually work with it. All right, and if you notice, we are the chain the front side, but if you notice right here, increase it. All right, if I carry it all the way on these numbers, it can actually cut up. So if I carry it here on 26, you notice how big you get. But if you go right at this big if I click at the big you notice it can't look bigger, but I click on the small one, you notice you can actually carry it in. So the same, if I come right here so to the A, you notice, you can actually give it a nice color right here. But if I click right here, notice this is how you can give it a highlight. But see, if I want to center it, I can click right here, notice it's gone. But if I come right here, so I click, I can align it just the same. If I come right here, so you can actually justify it just like that. Very important. If I come right here, so line space, you can move from one spine uh, to that and all of that. Definitely. Right? You can actually add picture. I'm going to show you exactly how you picture shortly. Now, so do I draw and I add it? But what you want to look at right here, fine. When you click on word fine, you notice it's a fine what? Right? It's a very important right here. So no, it's a slick card. So if I come right, it's an and slick and I come right as a slick card. You notice it block everything. Right? You can actually hold on the mouse. I push by and drag it and block it. But if you come right up here and say slick, you know, say do the same thing. Right? Replace if I come right, it's a page replace. You notice you get this little box here, which I can actually move up and down right here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to replace the red mark right here. Right, so I'm going to type the red mark right here. Right, you notice, it's a fine. Right, and replace it with, right, I'm going to say John. Right, and if you notice, it's a replace right here. Replace all and all that, I'm going to click that. I'm going to click it again. And notice right here, it's finished. Click that, and notice right here, change. 
right? The same thing you can actually do the same thing in Microsoft Word. Just the same, you can actually do the same thing in Google Doc. Just the same. So now we'll finish that. Now we're going to press enter, come down. If you come right here, so you can actually click add time and date, right? Did you notice right here, if I click OK, notice add the time and date, just the same, right here. But if you want to do a drawing right here, I can click right here. Notice if I come right here, so I can actually come right out like that. Okay, I don't like that, but I can actually select color right here. Notice this is a brush. You come right here, you can actually select brush. Right here, you can actually select pen, so just the same. Right, you can actually write something right here. So, yeah, and I'm going to come like that. I'm going to write a small fraction right here. Just like that. Some of you might not that accurate with it, but please try a thing and two, and then I'm going to do that. Right, and then I'm going to come out here. Cut automatic when I come like that, it will appear on it. So, you notice it actually appear on it so far. Definitely. So, we have to look at this and all that. So, I want to look at the photo. Now we're going to click right here into picture. Notice when you click on picture right here. Alright, let's go. Well, right, you're going to take it directly to the desktop. You notice? You're going to click right here on the desktop. We want a picture, definitely. Alright, so you're going to click on our folder right here. Just like that. I want to search. First, you can even come right here and carry it out like that. You can get more space to see. And carry it down like that. Alright, so I want to click on this photo right here and click. And I'm going to click on open. Right? If you notice, it show that definitely. The photo actually come in. So if I click like that, right? You notice I can come to the edge right here. You can actually carry it in. Just like that. So this is how it actually look right here in the sheet. Right? So if you notice, everything else is right there. So far in the sheet. Right? Definitely. I try to show all of that world, what you can actually do in the sheet so far. Right, so this is definitely how you actually use word file. You can also use it to anything you want to, to do. Right, you can write a little bit later and all of that. So what if I want to save this part of it? You're going to come right here to the file. You notice it says save as. You notice from save as, you notice uh, which text document. Anything that I want to save it as, but I want to save it as, which text document. Click it right here. Notice it take me to the desktop right here. So I want to scroll up, sure. Okay, the desktop. I'm going to set my word uh, right here and i'm going to click on receive right and next you can see i'm going to minimize it right here and notice there you go right here on my desktop very important right there so notice it's on my desktop so recommend right and bring it back up right so that's exactly how it actually looks like so these right here they show exactly where the margin are on here so if you have learned something from this video here so if you remember to like, share, and subscribe. See you in the next video.